The center of the art world in the USA is generally considered to be New York or LA. But if we look at that same area coast to coast back in the year 1450, do you know where it was? Right here in what is now known as Oklahoma. Did you know that? Well, be proud Oklahoma and try to get yourself real quick like to the cowboy. That's because a new exhibit, Spyro and the Art of the Mississippian World, is reuniting art pieces that have never been shown in the public quite this way before. And I really wanted you to be overwhelmed with the sheer quantity and quality of material that you're seeing. This is Eric Singleton, curator at Oklahoma City's National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, and he's been working on this exhibit for quite a while. Well, this project took about nine years to put together. It really began in 2012 when I met with the Caddo Nation and the Wichita and affiliated tribes and first proposed the idea for a Spyro exhibition. A Spyro is the most unique site that exists in North America and it's a story that really has never been told. 90% of all engraved shell has found at Spyro. There is material from across the known world from the Valley of Mexico to the Sea of Cortez to the Great Lakes to the Florida Keys. And you don't just get to hop into a Jeep and, and head out on the highway. If uh, you want to move something halfway across the continent, it's done on canoe or by walking. Uh, See, so it was very intentional. And the question has always been, why? Spoiler alert, it's believed Spyro was a ceremonial center for the entire Mississippian world from the years 950 to 1450. And effigies and statues were brought here particularly during a prolonged drought that started threatening their way of existence. And everything was buried in mounds. They moved these items into the hollow chamber in order, I believe, to restart time. Pieces were laid out in a very specific way because just like the story of Genesis, where you know what God did on day one, day two, day three, well, they have that story here. And so what they decided to do was retell the story of creation. And by doing that, they were going to restart creation. Despite ongoing excavations, there is much we don't know about the Spyro site, in large part due to destruction by looters in the 1930s. But what is known is the quality of these objects. Uh, even DeSoto said that the, uh, one of his uh, contemporaries wrote that the wooden statues were so amazing that if they were in the Vatican, they would be prized as one of the finest works of art. Eric says there is one part of the exhibit that's the most important. What I'm most proud of is cultural continuation. And so we combine ancient and contemporary objects throughout the exhibitions. So you see that there were uh, symbols, um, motifs, art forms that never died. And so the people who built Spyro are still here. They never left. And so it's really getting people to understand that today's uh, communities are connected to the Mississippians and they have a treasured past that we really need to understand and it never stopped existing. You can see this exhibit at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum through May 9th. Get more information by visiting their website, nationalcowboymuseum.org. And for more art features like this, visit our IGTV channel on Instagram at OETA Gallery. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay arty, Oklahoma.